Hey, my little love bugs. I am back, but today I am not going to do a mukbang. Today, I am going to show you some amazing mukbangers that are in the community that you might not have seen yet, but you definitely need to check out. Let me just say before we start, I had such a hard time getting this video together. Originally, my first computer crashed and these people have been so patient with me. They've the beautiful thing is it's given us a time or an opportunity to actually connect with one another on a deeper level. And I'm watching us all like form these relationships with one another. And it's, it's really, really heartwarming. So, um, I figured we do kind of like a reaction style collab, whatever you want to call it, you know, and I'm going to show you guys their videos either here or here. I don't know. I'm going to move over to the side. It's all going to be done in editing, but I'm going to show you guys the videos and I'm going to be watching them with you and reacting so we can just have the experience, you know? So if you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Um, and also subscribe to these channels. I'm going to put their usernames into the screen when we're, sh when I'm showing you their video clips. And I'm also going to um, have links directing you to their, in their Instagrams, <laughs> directing you to their YouTube pages in the description box. So if you see somebody that you like, definitely go over there, show them some love. These are all just, these are all amazing people and you need to know about them because they are bringing their own twist to the mukbang community and why not go watch? So let's get started. She's so cute. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, big thumbs up, describe. Bye. She said, give me a big thumbs up, describe. <laughs> she is so cute with her little braids to the side. Y'all, did y'all see my baby favor, my baby fever coming off of my face? If you didn't, go back and watch it because baby fever London is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at her face. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Gina Diva, and we're here with another mukbang video. Yes, today, guys, can you see what we got? We got some shrimp. We got a little shrimp boil. We have some boil. Shrimp. We have some red potatoes. We have some corn. We have some butter. I try to stay away from the red potatoes, but. I'm trying to do less seafood boils because if I do less seafood boils, then I will be having less red potatoes, right? Okay, now, um, how are you guys? I miss you guys. I'm so hungry. My stomach is like, feed me, Gina. All right, so let's get. Dang, Gina. <laughs> I love her vibe. I wish I had an accent, guys. I'm not fun like that. I'm not cool. She got like that. I don't want to say Jersey. Look, if it's not Jersey, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be honest. But she got like that East Coast vibe. Like, oh, I love that. Dang, Gina. <laughs> Why don't you want to eat the red potatoes, girl? I love red potatoes. Sometimes it's good. You know, fry them up in a skillet. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Wayne Boogie time. And today, I come through with the prawns, man. They be serious. You know what I'm saying? This is a prawn right here, man. So I'm sure, like, that is a prawn. I ain't had crab cut in a minute, but I'm telling you, this sauce right here made me forget all about it. Why? Well, I just cut it in half, you know. Say a little spice. Oh, he got all the stuff on it. All the little onions and cilantros and whatnot. Cilantros. Ooh. Pop right out of there. 
Like he's supposed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Did y'all see that gulp? That was a... That was, I don't know, y'all. That man got eating skills, eating and drinking skills, it looks like. That was, and those are some huge prawns. I don't even know where people be getting some of this seafood. Like, oh my gosh. That was impressive. Fear is there to stop us. Fear is there to, to give you a warning. It's a human response, you know? It's fire flight. And you just have to ask yourself, are you willing to let your dreams pass you on by, opportunity pass you on by, because you're too scared to bet on yourself? Oop. You bet on almost anything else in this world, but you telling me you're too scared to bet on yourself? I'm not afraid to bet on myself, girl. Y'all know. And I'm here for all of that message. Y'all know. I, I want self-love, honey. Step out step out on that little step. Or what is it? The bridge? The plank? I don't know. But step out into the world and take the risk. Don't let fear get in your way. And if you're looking for a message like that, to be hearing positive messages to help you get to that place, clearly this is a channel you need to be checking out. You lost me at the sour cream. So we're just gonna put that right there. She does like guacamole. I don't. So it's also a thing of like if you want to dig in with your fingers or if you're just gonna go at it today. So let's see. I just want that piece right there with no sour cream. That beat though, those earrings matching that eyeshadow, girl, I see you. I need to get more bold with my makeup. Oh my gosh. Y'all, she got the glam together. Lips popping. Ooh, <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm about to start, <laughs> I'm start hitting you up for makeup tips. All right. Oh. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that bacon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's our cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is really good. For real. I can tell. It looks good. last face though yeah i want to let you guys know that um the day that i'm actually posting this is miss parchman's birthday so make sure that you go over to her page and send her all of the birthday love because hey honey another year to be great she's so cute though oh my god that was adorable hi all my youtube friends and family welcome back to Nini's eats i'm your girl Nini. And today, you guys, I would like to introduce you to my channel where you will see yummy, tasty eats like this. You will see a bit of ASMR. You will see some challenges, spicy challenges, some family challenges. You'll see family mukbangs, hmm. just a couple of different things going on here. You know, I really love when people do family mukbangs. Like, they're so fun. And then, you know what I've noticed is, like, 
people are introducing their kids to flavors that, I mean, when I was growing up, honey, I was eating, cat, you know, tuna casserole, mac and cheese, like, but there were so many things that I didn't actually be able, like, I didn't have the opportunity to experience. So it's so cool to like watch these channels and see these families interacting with their kids on, on such a, such a normal level, but like introducing them to all of these different flavors and, and their kids actually being receptive and not being like, I don't want that. Well, some of them are, but not all of them. <laughs> oh, Nene. I found Nene eats a long time ago. I've been watching her. Been watching her. Just a beautiful family. It's time for a Coco. I'm a messy person. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 That was bad. That was about to get I lit. forgot to put lemon ring on it. Damn it. Oh, guys. Look at this. Look at this meat. Can't you see that? Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It looked delicious. <sighs> Oh my god, it's squirting in my face. <laughs> well, no, it's lemon. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. 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 You know, she, okay, so you know who Coco reminds me of? She reminds me of Lizzie. Just a little bit. Just because, I don't know, maybe it's how she speaks. Or maybe it's her brows. I'm gonna be honest. It might be the brows. Lizzie Lou. Food, Lizzie Lou Food, I think that's what, oh my God, I can't believe I brain farted her channel. I watch her all the time. Um, Lizzie Lou Foods has beat brows. They're always on point. And Coco's brows are lit in this video. <laughs> They're so cute. And her personality, is just, pers her personality is just so fun and bubbly. Like even when I'm, I'm just messaging her, I can tell she's like such a just bubbly and like excited person. Love it. Love it. You know me, love it. I'm, a, I'm here for all of that. All of it. Oh, hot dogs. Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're having a really special treat. We're having a hot dog on a stick. So here I have a corn dog. I like mustard and ketchup. And I have an all-American cheese on a stick. Fried cheese on a stick. I got some french fries with some ketchup. And they're famous. Okay, so my problem is I've watched these videos, but this is the one that makes me hungry because I don't ever get hot dog on a stick, but it is low key really good. It's so yummy. This is um, obviously not mukbang. This is gonna be an ASMR video, but oh, I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I, I, I secretly have like this love for ASMR. Some of those sounds, they just get me. They just get me. I love them every time that I hear them, especially like that that um, that ice pouring, like when you pour soda in the ice and it fizzes. Oh my God. So if you're looking for a new ASMR channel, clearly you have a new place that you need to visit. Dang, this, this, this. I think it's the ketchup and the mustard. It really sold me. I'm like, ooh, that looks good. I can only imagine the cheese pool. I'm gonna go watch this video as soon as it's over. I'm gonna go watch the full video. <laughs> okay, look. Demonstration 101 how to eat butterfly lobster tail. You pick the lobster tail. I didn't even get a chance to introduce them to what we're eating and you're just... Oh, we gotta introduce it? Yeah, tell them what you're eating. This is cool. <laughs> We're eating butterfly lobster tail. I'm hungry. Exhibit A. And then I have these huge king crab legs. Only thing I ate today at work was goddamn salad. Oh, oh. that sounds no <laughs> problem. Oh, but I did come home and I hooked up my specialty. 
But now I want to know what the specialty is. <laughs> what was the specialty? Inquiring minds would love to know. What was the specialty? I have to go watch this. Y'all have to go watch this because we need to know what the specialty is. He said he eating food. Those are some big crab legs though. Ooh wee. Mm. That was funny. That caught me off guard. Oh man. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. And you know what? Last but certainly, certainly not least, um, this last video is, with, is for um, Tasting with Tia. I connected with Tia months ago. Um, months ago. I don't even, I don't remember when I initially met Tia, but Tia has always been very, very active in the community. She's so positive. I remember when she first started and she was working out, you know, the, the setup and like how she had everything positioned and she was really finding her way in like the mukbang community, you know, aligning it with her own style, but still kind of following along with what we're all doing. And it's really cool to be able to see how she has developed. I've seen her do so many collaborations with other YouTubers and other mukbangers. And like, she really hit the ground running. Here go the big girl. Oh, that's the one. What time for the big girls? One time for the big girls. You know, I'm starting the situation. That's ranch. You taste it first, let me know. Oh, no, drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip? Drip. Mm-hmm. Her face. This is my first time trying to yell. Guys, you gotta, if you go back to, um, to Tia's videos, you will see what I mean because she has she has really grown and developed her stuff, and it's so cool to just see her there. Like I, she's actually the person who introduced uh, the keto like keto diet to me. I didn't know what that was, and it's so cool to just be able to see like that level of growth. All right, guys. So those were all of the clips. Um, you know what? Let me scoop a little bit more into the center of the frame. I really enjoyed this. I really hope you guys did too. Um, I wanted to do something different because, you know, we try to help each other grow in this community. And I, I know that it's hard. I know that sometimes it can get discouraging if you're not getting the views or the um, followers that you want. But always remember, and you know, this is what my mentor told me. Always remember your purpose because your purpose is what you're going to fall back on when you don't want to do this. Like there are days where I don't necessarily want to film, but I can go back onto my purpose, which I like to help people. It makes me feel good to help people. So when I fall back on my purpose and I see how much people actually appreciate it, it's not even like them saying, oh, thank you, Tosh. It's not that. It's like the, me helping them get closer to what they want makes me happy, whether that just be self-love and happiness or growing out your channel or whatever it is. Like I don't, I know that I'm always, I'm not always like, oh yeah, let's collab, blah, blah, blah. But I really want to be able to give you guys something that is going to help you, but still be comfortable, like even in like my space. And I really feel like I, I did that in this. This was such a fun experience. It was really fun to make and it was fun to watch with you guys. I would like to do more videos like this. Um, but definitely what I would say is if you are an inspiring mukbanger, no matter if you have one follower or, you know, a hundred or, or a thousand or a million, it does not matter. We are all the same. I feel exactly the same way that I felt when I have 5,000 followers to however many I have currently. And you're not going to feel any different, but you will be able to affect more people's lives. So think about that and, and try to affect their lives in a positive way because you never really know who's watching and you never know what kind of blessing it can bring to you. These people work really hard on their channels. Go check them out. You might just find a friend. But that, that was really like good, y'all. Like, I just like, I just freestyled that. <laughs> With that being said, um, I love you guys. I love... I love you guys. This journey has been amazing and I cannot wait to see the things that are going to happen in your lives if you keep pursuing your goals, whether it be mukbang or something else. But you know what? If you want to share those things with me, 
send me a DM on Instagram because I really love hearing your stories. And when you guys get me those messages, send me those messages. Um, those are the messages that I fall back on when I'm trying to find my purpose or fall back into my purpose to find that motivation. So you guys have a good rest of your day and we will talk again soon. Bye guys.